In this video, we will learn about the Langrages multiplier method of optimization. The question is use Langrages multiplier method to optimize the following function z is equal to 4x square minus 3x plus 5xy minus 8y plus 2y square. This is our multivariate function and we have to optimize this multivariate function subject to the constraint that is x should be equal to 2y the options are being given as 1 upon 2 0 1 upon 4 and 1 upon 8 we need to find out which of these options is correct when we find the optimal values of x and y and plug them into our function okay so how do we solve the language method first we write our function that is z is equal to 4x square minus 3x plus 5 xy minus 8y plus 2y square okay this is our given function we also call this objective function okay objective function we need to optimize this function okay we want to optimize optimize z is equal to this subject to the constraint constraint is x should be equal to 2y okay this is our constraint now first thing uh, in solving this very question using multi you know language multiplier method is we set this budget constraint okay equal to 0 okay so this means uh, x minus 2y should be equal to 0 or simple thing uh, if i rewrite this in this fashion then 0 minus x plus 2y should be equal to 0 which gives us minus x plus 2y is equal to 0 which i again gives us uh, you know so this is our uh, you know what i have done here we have first rearranged it and set it equal to zero after then we have mul you know uh, subtracted uh, this zero from each side and we got a minus x plus 2y is equal to zero okay this function and this function they are obviously same after that we multiply this resulting constraint with lambda okay so if i multiply it by lambda so we have minus x plus 2y set it equal to 0 then we need to form the languages method uh, you know languages function which is formed by adding this objective function and result constraint okay so our uh, objective function is 4x square minus 3x plus 5xy minus 8y plus 2y square this is our objective function and we add this resulting constraint that is plus lambda minus x plus 2y okay this is our language you know function which is formed by adding this objective function and this resulting constraint now to find the optimal values of x y what we need to do we just need to differentiate this language function partially first with respect to x and set it equal to zero taking partial derivative of this function with respect to x it will become 2 for the 8 x minus 3 plus 5 y no x is involved and derivative of x is minus 1 so we are left with minus lambda should be equal to 0 in similar fashion else subscript y denotes the partial derivative of this language function with respect to y so we have here uh, no y is involved in the first two terms here derivative of y is 1 so we are left with 5x uh, then we have minus 8 plus 2 4 2 to the 4y then derivative of y is 1 so we are left with minus 2 lambda should be equal to 0 and by the same fashion we take that partial derivative with respect to lambda since no lambda is involved in the first terms here first four or five terms lambda is involved here so derivative of lambda is one so we are left with 
minus x plus 2y should be equal to 0 okay to save some uh, you know steps here uh, let me transpose this minus lambda to rhs here so let us write it here it is minus lambda it will become plus lambda and obviously here it is for here it is mistake it was plus 2 lambda okay if i transpose it here it will become minus 2 lambda okay so we have minus should be equal to minus 2 lambda i am just trying to save some steps here let this be equation first this be equation second divide equation first by second we will get 8x minus 3 plus 5y divided by this 5x minus 8 plus 4y should be equal to lambda upon minus 2 lambda lambda and lambda go rubber soil so we are left with um, 8x uh, minus 3 plus 5y divided by 5x minus 8 plus 4y should be equal to 1 upon minus 2 let's cross multiply so we have uh, um, 2 eights are 16x minus 16x uh, plus uh, minus minus is plus 2 3 are 6 um, then we have negative 2 5 are 10 y should be equal to 5x minus 8 plus 4y okay so um, 16x transposing this here shapans get a cool so this will become minus 21x then we have uh, minus 8 transposing here it will become plus 8 6 and uh, 8 is so 14 then we have transposing this here it will become minus 14y should be equal to 0 so multiplying both sides by minus 1 so it, this will become uh, 21x minus 14 plus 14y should be equal to 0 or 21x plus 14y should be equal to transposing again here so it will become plus 14 and we also know that you can see we are being told x is equal to 2y just plug the value of x is equal to 2y in this equation so we have uh, 21 in place of x we have 2y um, plus 14 y is equal to 14 so this is 42 y plus 14 y is equal to 14 which means uh, <coughs> Uh, this is 56 y is equal to 14 which gives us y is equal to 14 upon 56 so so this comes out to be 1 upon 4 optimal value of y is 1 upon 4 to find the optimal value of x okay we know x is equal to 2y that means x will be equal to 2 times the value of y which we got here 1 upon 4 which gives us x is equal to 1 upon 2 okay so we got the optimal values of x and y now what we need to do we just need to find out you know the value of this function at the critical points or optimal points that means we need to plug the value of x and y in this objective function okay so let me rub it here so that means our z will be equal to 4 the value of x is 1 upon 2 so we have x square this is 1 upon 4 then okay then we have minus 3 the value of x is 1 upon 2 so let me write it here 1 upon 2 then we have plus 5 the value of x is 1 upon 2 the value of y is 1 upon 4 minus 8 value of y is 1 upon 4 then when we have 2 value of y square 1 upon 4 that means 1 upon 16 so 4 and 4 gets cancelled here we are left with 1 minus this is 3 upon 2 uh, plus 
we have here 5 into 1 into 1 is 5 upon 8 minus uh, 4 ones are 4 twos are so this is minus 2 here 2 ones are 2 eights are 16 so we get 1 upon 8 here okay so 1 minus 2 is minus 1 then we have minus 3 upon 2 5 plus 1 is 6 upon 8 so solving again so taking minus 1 common here or minus common we are left with uh, 1 plus 3 upon 2 in the first two terms plus 6 by 8 so this is 2 plus 3 is 5 so we get minus 5 upon 2 plus 6 upon 8 or 6 upon 8 can be written as 2 3 is 6 2 4 is 8 so 4 5 is 20 so we will get minus 20 uh, plus 2 3 is 6 divided by let me write it here it got messy so we get we got here minus 20 plus 2 3 is 6 upon 2 4 is 8 so this is minus 14 upon 8 which comes out to be uh, two seven are two four are so when we optimize we will get the optimal value is minus seven upon four so no option is here seven upon four so all options are incorrect so the correct option should be minus seven upon four if we optimize this function with respect to the given constraint i hope i make myself clear thank you